Hey Siri, play Sonny Greenwich Jr. One moment. Sure. Here's a personalized station of Sonny Greenwich Jr. I just wanted to quickly talk about how I fixed up the sound on the last three live videos that I put up. They were shot with a single camera in dark circumstances and with a single microphone which was the Rode Video Micro. Still able to get quite a good sound out of it considering. There was a little bit of distortion that I had to pull out and I did a couple of things to widen the stereo field and so on, but that's it. Let's have a quick look at that. Now the first thing I did in order to separate the sound was to grab the, the main track which is here, right clicked and did a detach audio. That separates the audio from the video timeline which is here. Then I went up above share master file default and then in the settings here in the master file default I went audio only and changed the audio file format to WAV and then saved it out. Once that was done, I quit Final Cut Pro, opened Logic. So what I did was I dragged the file onto the timeline and then my first port of call was to use the channel EQ to roll off the low end and to add a little bit of high end at the very top. Then the next bit of business was to run an LA-2A just barely touching it just to even out the song a little bit. The next, I did an X Crackle. This program takes a little bit of the noise out of the top end because there was a small bit of distortion in the vocals when all of us were singing at the same time. Then, what do I have here? I had a Neutron, which was just another EQ with a small bit of cut and dip at about, what is this, uh, around 300. And then somewhere around 750 as well as a, a, a small boost at a thousand. I used Bark of the Dog, which is a free plugin that you should probably get. It's, it's basically just magic. It adds a small bit of oomph to whatever bass you have or the lack of bass, as was the case with, with this setup because of the single mic shot. And then I also added a stereo maker to widen the stereo width and to, to, to give the impression of a, of a stereo file, even though it was completely mono. Then I used an L2 just to slightly hit and make sure that nothing went over. In Logic, once again, I bounced the project or section out with all the effects on it, went back into Final Cut, then re-imported the sound back in. You could do it with just the regular plugins within the actual Logic, but I just use the other ones because I, I happen to have them. No reason to think that you can't do them without. Sorry it's been so long. I've got a nice big hero video coming for you in the next week or so. I hope that gives you a small bit of an idea how to fix up the sound for your stuff. All right, thanks guys. We'll see you next time. Hey Siri. Hmm? Play Sonny Greenwich Jr. One moment. Okay. Here's some Sonny Greenwich Jr. picked just for you.